Hey everyone, I'm Andrea Garvey and I am going to show you the second layer of my painting that I'm working on and I've learned a few things from my last video. For instance, when I did this one, everything was backwards and I'm not that good of a painter, but I figured out in uh, your settings, there's a little tiny uh, looks like a magic wand and a little tool and you can hit that and your video will flip even if you're in selfie mode. So thank goodness you guys can now read this painting. And so my first layer, they're all about words and I put a lot of um, positive inspiring words in all of my paintings and this is a painting that's going to be part of my Bird of Humanity piece which I found the sketch and I wanted to show you guys before I go over there, but if you can see it, this, oops, this is the sketch that I'm gonna be working on for my final piece. So it's more of a vertical form than the original one, which I think will be a better for doing some prints and whatnot. So anyway, this is a layer that I love. It's all using acrylic inks. So I'm gonna hop on over here uh, so what I do is I fill up my first layer with words and then I go to my acrylic paints and they're all inks and so I have a few different favorite ones that I love. Uh, golden, and I'll put these in the description, but the high fluid golden inks are great. I also use Amsterdam inks as well as the um, ones that I used to use a lot of the Dale Rowney, I think it's called Rowney. And I took a class about six or seven years ago with uh, Tracy Verdugo, and that she was the first teacher I had to really show me how to use the inks. And ever since I have um, been painting now, I've been using this technique a lot, and I love it. So it is going to be my second layer, and it will cover this whole canvas in some bright, colorful paint which really gets me going for that next layer, which will be layer, layer um, three. So what I do is I try to divide my canvas up and I use cool and I use warm colors, but I don't mix them because then they'll get really muddy. So I pick my favorite colors and today I'm gonna go ahead with my magenta and I, and I just sort of just give it a little squirt like this. And then I'm gonna add some red this is, I can't even read it. I think it's called red light, red light. I'm gonna add a little bit of that. And this flame orange, which is a really pretty awesome color as well. So once I've got these inks down here, there's a number of ways that you can actually use them. You can spray a little bit with water and get them going that way. Or you can use these little foam brushes and just push it around. So I like to kind of do both of these methods. And while I'm at it, I often do the sides. Just get that color down there going. So right now I'm really just gonna concentrate on this sort of half of the painting. I love the acrylics because not only are they fast to get down, but they also have a really beautiful fluid look and feel. So some of the words the reason I use the dark paint and the uh, pastels is because some of these words are still gonna show through onto the second layer and I want that. I'm not really thinking too much about how I'm putting this all down. I just don't wanna make mud and I'm really trying to cover it, but also using colors that I like. Tool that I like to use are these little skewers. I make them 
make some really cool lines. And the reason I'm painting on the ground for these last two layers is because it would just run. It's, it would just run and turn to mud. I also have a little bit of a gold that I, I have been using quite a bit. This is an Amsterdam light gold. you can do between your well next to your warm and your cool colors you can blow dry it so that way they won't drip into each other but I just sort of kind of keep them separate and next I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this around and it's okay actually if it runs a little bit sometimes that's kind of cool Let's see if that works for you guys there And now I'm going to use some of the blues. So my all-time favorite color that you'll see use in a lot of my uh, paint, in my paintings. This is just a little guy because I used up my big one, but it's a turquoise. And it's by Golden. And this is a, a blue-green color that's pretty awesome. And I need to go buy a big one. Because I use it all the time. And then this one is cerulean blue and that's it for right now and i'm gonna get that going on the canvas you can do the same thing that i'm doing now on some really beautiful watercolor paper that's thick like uh 300 pound or 150 and um it will it will do the sort of same effect which is really cool too so I do like working paper so these brushes have the red on it so now I'm making mud right there so I don't want to do that and this one does too and get some more brushes so I don't know if you can tell you might be able to tell let me move some of the stuff just squirting the water and having it sort of the two colors blend into each other. I really like what's happening right here. So I think I'm gonna try and leave that and then do the same kind of effect over here. Start filling in. start to get covered up the oil pastels underneath the lighter ones and that's completely fine I know that the words are there I know what the meanings are I know how I want to start my painting with positive encouraging 
words, so, and that's okay. Some people get really attached to them, but you know what, when you're, when you're working on your final layer, you can always add words back. And one of the comments I received on my earlier video, uh, a lady, she paints words before she paints her walls in her, in her home. I thought that was so cool because the words are in there and you know, and you know it, even though you're going to put a final coat of something else on top. doing the sides I've been doing a lot of my been painting a lot of my sides lately uh, with the final image going down the, on the sides I really like it lately. so this is just like getting that first coat down the sponge brushes are great they're super cheap but the trick is as soon as you're done with them like this one <laughs> put it in the water because otherwise it will just harden a lot faster than if it was on a brush. So I'm kind of getting into my area where I have the warmer colors and that's okay. Getting a little purple here. I think I'm gonna use that blue that I like, that turquoise. running out. I need to get some. This one is a, let's see, what the heck is it? Oh, I know it's green. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot read this at all. But it's lime green. Let's call it lime green. And I'm just gonna put a little bit down. I probably won't even paint on this because it's got a it's got a pretty cool. The way it mixes in with the blue underneath is pretty cool looking. So obviously on this layer, I'm not concerned with the composition. I'm not concerned with how it's going to look. I'm not really thinking about anything. I'm just picking colors that I like. You can pick any colors you want in the acrylic inks. There's tons of colors. And it's really sort of to get your canvas covered. It's another jump start for the next layer. So I think that's about it. I think what I'll do is let this dry a little bit. And then another thing that sometimes I'll do is I'll dry it and then I will hold it up and I'll drip some colors to come down. But you have to wait till it's completely dry and then you can add some new colors to drip down. Like I might drip some white or some black and then let that dry. So between the acrylic inks, you wanna let it dry and they'll dry pretty quickly, 10 or 15 minutes, depending on how humid it is and how much water you have on your canvas. So I'll pop this outside and then I will be working on layer number three. I'm not too sure when, but I will definitely let you guys know and thanks for watching and have a great day. <laughs>